Hi kids, this is Miss Stacy. This video is going to be a read-along, bake-along of this book, The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. That means I'm gonna read and I'm gonna show you some pictures and videos from my making a pizza, just like the hen does. The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza by Philemon Sturgis, illustrated by Amy Walrud. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She had sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large and flat and round. Cluck, she said, I need a pizza pan. My big round pizza pan. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. Here's my mixing bowl in action. Have you seen a pizza cutter? It's a knife that's shaped like a wheel or a circle that's attached in the center. Oh, look at all that stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam and jars of honey, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said, I need flour. Now I use bread flour. If you don't have bread flour, you can use all-purpose flour. She stuck her head out of the window. Hello, she said. Who will run to the store and get me some flour? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. The duck, the cat, and the dog are doing their own things. You see in the picture, what do you think they're doing? Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. Is some salt. Olive oil. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So, she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. The duck, the dog, and the cat are doing their own thing again. What do you think they're doing in this picture? Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen, the deli for short. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. Do you remember she already has that in her pantry at home? 
When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well, then I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. Woo! Fancy. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. Here I'm showing you what my dough looks like after it rose in a warm place, all puffed up. And then I had to punch it to get the extra air out. And then I rolled it out with a rolling pin. I do not do fancy things like twirling it around my head or throwing it in the air like the little red hen did. That was really special. wrinkles in it. It's okay, I'll spread it out. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said, who will help me make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. Now you can see the toppings that I put on my pizza. The next topping is cheese. Next topping, pepperoni. Mushrooms, that's a vegetable I like. Oh, I spilled some. I've got some onion. So I'm gonna slice up some onion right onto the pizza. I need one more vegetable topping on my pizza before it goes in the oven. My peppers. The little red hen looked down at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. Whoa, look at the size of her pizza. She made such a big dough ball. She must have had a big pan too when she bought that pan. And lots of other ingredients. So she stuck out her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? Okay, look at this picture. Do they look like they're busy doing their own thing? Also look at this um, sort of wavy line. I'll tell you that this wavy line represents the delicious smell that we can't really see a smell, but that's supposed to represent the smell and it's coming over to them. When I made my pizza, I noticed that my pepper smelled good and that's how I knew it was gonna work. 
but ooh, ooh, this one already smells good. Ooh, I think it's gonna work even though it's still green. They all said yes, of course. Yes, they wanted to eat pizza. Wow. But the cat scraped most off most of the topping off of his share. Oh, he doesn't like the veg and stuff. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? I think. They each said, I will. I will. I will. Okay. After cooking all day, well, shopping and cooking all day, there's a lot of dishes in the sink and next to the sink. So there's a lot of work to do. And they did. Thanks kids for listening to The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. Goodbye.